it's your boy Juice, and I'm here with the Connected Franchise series. I was going to tell y'all, I was going to post on Tuesday, and it's, it's Sunday now, but y'all going to be seeing it on Tuesday. So first, we're going to start it off with the weekly training. You know, we got to make all our guys good and all that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all see Ryan Tannehill, Mario Williams, Rashad Jones. Y'all see all of them. Y'all even see the coach. I don't even know who that is. I'm just going to guess that's like a coordinator. That Cameron Wake, Kiko Alonzo, and then you see you got to do the hat gear. You see uh, Kenyon Drake get that spin move, but then he gets taken down, but it's still a first down, so it don't even matter. Here we go again. I was just like, huh, I don't know where I'm going to go. And I just go ahead and flipped it, and then, boop, boop, you see, you see me, and then uh, I get tackled. And, you know, that was all ahead in red. And then, what you call it? I had to flip it again. And y'all gonna see me get the first down right here. But it was it was a touchdown and I went ahead and did the you know a little stick thing celebration into the touchdown. And then here go here we go again. And Kenyon Drake first down. Oh, and he jukes out Brand Brian Maxwell and to the touchdown again. But we couldn't get a goal because you know we went ahead and lost the second one. So we went ahead and just got the first down right here. But yeah, so that's 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 the weekly training for our offense running. Make sure we get the run game good, and y'all gonna see how that plays out. And when we go up against the Seahawks, right after we do the defensive part of the gameplay, so you see he's going encouraging everybody. Make sure we do good, and you see the silver, and it goes right there. And then you see our defense right here. I ain't gonna lie, our defense was struggling when we were doing this practice. And you see, you see, he misses the first one, and I'm just like, yeah, that's good. And then we, what'd you call it? Kiko Alonzo, he was, I was trying to follow, but you know, Cameron, wait, er, not Cameron, wait, Jordan Cameron. <laughs> uh, both Camerons. I got him. Uh, he got the first down, and I was like, okay, well, gold's out of the window. And so I, I was like, all right, I'm going to just use the Kiko Alonzo right here, and boom. You see Kowamisi making sure he can't catch the ball. And I was like, I don't even know who I'm a guard. And then I just stay on him. And I don't even know why Devontae Parker jumped like that. He could have just got the first down and made me get make sure I don't get a silver. But, you know, computer is always dumb like that. And you see here, and they don't get that one either. So we get silver. You hey, see, you see the coach, I mean, you, you know, saying everything, making sure Kiko Alonzo was doing good corner, and everything. And that's what we like to see as a coaching staff. Um, Show us some more. Yeah, and you see the silver there too, because we can't. We, we, we didn't really get any gold, but you know that might change next. The reason why I kept one, uh, Kenyon Drake instead of cutting him is because I saw potential in him. Like, I would have cut him, but then I saw potential because he's 6'1". Six, six he's one of the tallest team. running backs I've seen in the NFL. He's about as tall as Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill is about 6'1". And y'all see here, franchise Hello, mode, week one. On Von Miller doing a celebration. Um, Larry Fitt, Odell Beckham right there, the week one the uh, of the regular it's season, the Ryan Tannehill versus Russell Seahawks. Wilson, 93 overall versus 80 overall, With awareness that, is Seattle, way higher for Russell and see the new presentation they've had and everything, it's pretty dope, I actually like the presentation they've had, right, you see Doug Baldwin, Brandon Brown and all that, and you see, you see us in our new, new in our alternate uniform, just because it's week, uh, regular season week one, against one of the most difficult teams in the NFL, I just went ahead and said, 
Yeah. Might as well as get a good jersey because we're going against a really good team. And you see me right the there uh, with my headphones on. They're going to wrestle Wilson right there, talking to everybody, to making Miami sure, Dolphins you know, that we everything's knew, especially me you back know. in my youth. And, and here we go, picked off by Inglefield. So I'm trying to get possession. the edits down so y'all got to watch everything. Russell Wilson, y'all see the overall ratings of the quarterback, except height. And that's what moved and into a third round. First play, pick. I ain't gonna lie. First play, I was frustrated was because the first play, y'all gonna see what happens. Tyler Lockett goes out for the route and he's just gone. Nobody's on him, so Russell Wilson hits him and he gets tackled right around the 49 yard line for a 100 yard attempt all the way down. The field. That got me frustrated and, and I was like, well, I guess they gonna keep, they gonna be keep doing something like that. And then the second play, they decide they want to pass it and tell it like it again. But instead, he gets about eight yards on the play. And like, yeah, no, five yards. That's a five yards. And you're going to see the, the, the uh, very, very Seahawks offense. Group in that he said uh, their offensive line is going to be worse. Uh, 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 Doug Bilewood, Tyler uh, Lockett, new addition to the grand right off of his injury from week 12. And... You see, uh, oh, he, what's his name? Thomas Rawls. He, did, he couldn't even get back. He, he, he lost the yard. He couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. But you see right here, we knocked the mess out of Thomas Rawls. Thomas Rawls goes flying to the ground. And I was like, oh, well, we got him. Punt it. No, they decided to go. They, they can go for a field goal. 62 yards. 62. I'm reminding y'all, 62 yard field goal. And luckily, they missed it. <laughs> they had the they had the power, but not the accuracy. They had the distance, but not the accuracy. Y'all see, Arian Foster coming in first play of the game. He gets the carry, but then he gets tackled. And I'm like, okay, minus two, negative two yards, we'll probably get back that. So then I let him, I, I you know, change the route up, and then right as he gets tackled, injured, injured. His old, er, as old as Arian Foster is, and how strong he is, I thought he would, you know, shrug it off. He gets injured, and you're going to see the injury right after this play, but you see, Cat Jordan Cameron so and everything. And I cheat. I was like, huh, you know, I'm just keeping it his hands. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Jordan Cameron Here's right here. And he actually can't, he drops and it, actually. He drops it, and I was like, all right, my And then, you see here, they're going to really, um, really go ahead and do a run. I think, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? Yeah, they did a run, and then a five-yard carry on the play, and... That was that, and now we're gonna look at the Dolphins defense. This year we got a lot of talent on the defense and defensive part. Our defensive line is gonna be unstoppable this year. New addition Mario Williams, Kiko Alonso, and Chris Culliver and Brian Brown, eh, Brian Browner and Issa Blue. One who should go. Harry Potter game, Quidditch, whatever. Um, screen, I thought I got the pick, but Thomas Ross said, nah, you good, and like, got like about 20-something yards, and I was just like, the offensive lineman, other blockers out in front. So you see him at the 46-yard line, and do, they do a toss play, and they get, they get about five, five, six yards on the carry, five yards on the carry. And you see Ryan, they punted, they punted, the the they punted, they punted the ball, you see Ryan Tannehill, you know, 80 overall, we're going to make him into an elite quarterback this, this year, instead of, you know, being a bust like he was last year, 24 points in the first game, that was not a good step, shoot last year, but he's going he's gonna to run and get to the 49 yard line, 17 yard rush, 17 yard, yeah, 17 yard rush, and I was just like, let's go, that's what I'm and then Ken the and Drake, Ken right Drake, he, was, he, he wasn't just really that effective this game. You see the draft class, Larry Tunstall, Xavier Howard, and Ken Drake. Those are three people that are starting since, you know, 
uh, Arian Foster got injured. Kenyon Drake's gonna be starting for the rest of the game. Then we pass to Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills will get five yards, about four, five yards. Down at the here on the pass right there. Line. Makes it third and four. And, it'll be really and I'm, I thought right here I could get a good, a good uh, we get the first down. I thought we could get more since he was open until everybody else was there. So then Kenyon Drake, I hand him off the ball, and you are going to expect he only got about four yards, three or four yards. Kenyon Drake is a terrible seven. He didn't even get a touchdown. I was hoping he would get his first and a touchdown in this game. And I was hoping the best, but he didn't live. And you see right here, uh, the person I tried passing to was Devontae Parker. I don't think he, yeah, uh, yeah, he didn't, I didn't complete it. I got hit so hard, he dropped it. He dropped, or, yeah, Ryan Tannehill came to pass off his time. And I went ahead and went for the field goal, and it's good. It's good. And Andrew Frank got it through the uprights. Matt Morey still celebrating the him. So we're going to look at that one more time. Let's see where this action takes us. First quarter, no points at all. About 54 yards field goal. Seattle now and ready see, to march we're going for a cover four right here. I don't really run these cover fours. I usually run cover see three, cover two, and going uh, on cover three man. But I was like, might as well try to cover four for the game. Like and close, and it didn't work at all. Uh, Russell Wilson passes it to Thomas Rawls. That's that. I hate experienced quarterbacks. And then you see right here. You really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there he knew right away where the blitz was coming from. It's a holding penalty. Going to be, and he up going so, to a what? That's a, nice that's a, uh, uh, that wasn't the primary a target. A loss of he's 10 so good yards at that, right there. I think he knew right away and that he wasn't going to get to yeah, his primary guy. It. I think he read that so as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 instead of second and three. And on this play, now Wilson. On I was confused down. at this play. This play was weird. It's caught on the like, left side by Baldwin. <laughs> Uh, he missed him, and then like I was like, oh well, he's probably gone. And then Rashad Jones come out of nowhere and hits him. And I was just happy with that. Uh, you see, Kiko couldn't get through the line, and I was just like, all right, he's going. You see, Chris Culver tackling uh, Jimmy Graham. That's only an eight-yard gain. And right here, you know, right. He Right here, Ooh, uh, Doug Baldwin gets the first down. We talked about Doug Baldwin. He was what? Wasn't he undrafted? He was undrafted for Sam. And he he acts like a, like he should have. He he acts like he should have been drafted first round. He's been doing really good this year. Not good size, but he still at like he, 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 he plays like he's the man. I mean, he, he, he plays like he's the guy who could win downfield. And you see right here, he gets the touchdown, but hold on, there's a flag. But the flag is on Xavier Howard, so they're gonna decline it and just take the touchdown instead. Make sure they love him right here. He's you get the, yeah, now we'll get the ball. And that I went ahead and did a, a screen with Kent and Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake gets. He, I tried checking Cam down. Chancellor, but he, he went ahead and said, no, I ain't going to do that. And then Jordan Cameron, I saw him open on this right, so I went ahead and took the ball with Cam. He gets it. And. I ran the same play the again, hoping that it would work. So instead of passing it to Jordan like Cameron, I passed it to King and Drake. The King and Drake to the side that A was having a possession all, catch was nice good, catch and Made that was sure that wasn't good at all. And Jay Ajayi, I was looking at him, but then I saw Y wide open, and we get the touchdown, make it a 10 to 7 lead. We are winning and everything. that was I was just I was grateful when it happened you don't see that once again gonna retake just because of how good that was I was really happy with that the yeah, blocks were great he was he just executed got past Cam Chancellor then he got past the lockers, um, but a little time left on that clock so some work to do you even see the game clip and there you go Kiko Alonso making the defensive adjustments and you are gonna see the first hit Boom, Thomas Rawls. Y'all remember that from the first right quarter. Spot. 
that happened in well Saint Clair late there the at the point of attack. Yeah. They are Ooh, really making it happen. That. Jones. <laughs> it's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here oh, before we get to halftime. Uh, you see, you about to see over here. This is this is a good play right here. Good play. We may be executed right there. Make sure you don't get it. Now it's like a timeout here. See what happens. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward half. Be a ball position here. The offense needs 13 yards. You see my coach just watching. It's third down. Yeah, watching the back there. And then right here we we stop him again Boom. he got he gets back he gets back to the there a nice job defensively and I was like Ryan I wonder now. what Jarvis yeah, Landry can do for the second with. time <laughs> so whenever they punt it y'all about to see what Jarvis Landry can do even though you know y'all about to see why he said he's going to do Jarvis Landry now takes Landry. it out to the right and he gets off, he breaks there's the tackle, the and there's the a flag. flag. There is a flag. And I tried hurling over them, didn't work, but there is a flag. And the flag was on us for illegal block in the back. And I was just, I was real mad with, with, um, so we our quarterback. Half time you see halftime here. And we're gonna look at the stats at halftime. Yeah, I see. Um, the Seahawks are doing better the at passing yards, and we All have right, more rushing yards. Here's a look at the first half highlights. highlights. And even them, just They're going to make their adjustments. And so you see right what? here, Kenyon Drake, I went ahead and, stay and, stay ahead and did a cross play so he did nothing. And he did. He actually got 11 yards for the carry, and I was proud of him. He was 5 rushes for 13 yards for Kenyon and Drake. And I was like, huh, I might as well run it. I might as well do this pass play. And I I actually got it. I don't even know how I did. He catches it, and then the ball goes crazy, and you see you just fly out of bounds. And like a receiver, and you're aware of you're going to want to be aware of him. You see the my coach watching him. What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? This play, I got. I was running it with Kenny Drake, but he only got three yards, so it wasn't even that much. I was pretty. Kenny Drake, he's a he's a good running back. I really see potential in him. I want to develop him into like a really good running back by like his third year in the NFL. I just, I see, I see him. You see, you see Deion Sims just breaking tackles. He will not go down. Will not go down. Deion Sims. And Ryan Tannehill going 9 for 13. What do you think of that? And we see right here. Uh, Jay Ajayi. I, I was wondering why Jay Jaya didn't have his um, dreads in the game, and I was just, I just made it because sometimes you're, it it sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone, sometimes you're throwing it between the zone, sometimes receivers and, gonna you know, just you see the stats right there, they, we, we got more yards <laughs> and more down than the Seahawks. Now I hand off here to his running back, <laughs> and you see Kenyon Drake, right there, third and five, and I went ahead and passed it, There's but it was only fourth and one. Give him three on the play, and that's gonna so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go for it. So I, I was just like, no, I'm not going to go, go for it. You see me? I'm going to go with the toss play. The reason why I went for it is because I don't want to be a just by the I want to actually they have a secure lead. And you see Kenyon Drake breaking the tackle just so we can get the first down. And that was like, that's whenever I saw potential in Kenyon. I was like, all right, let's do another run play. But Kenyon Drake didn't really get it back. So I was like, okay, all right, Kenyon. Next time I got you this time. And but this time I passed it to um the I didn't even mean to pass it to Jordan Perry. My my hand barely touched the A when I didn't mean to. But yeah, uh, Ryan Tannehill is set right here and passed to Jarvis Landry, but he only gets to the one the one yard line. <laughs> and so since he got the one yard line, I was like. You know what? I need to get him a touchdown. He deserves it since he got to the one yard line. Y'all gonna see the, the same really play again. I rolled there, out and so then boom, gets hit by Ken Shanson, but does not get shook. You him. see, you see, I put Jarvis Henry on that fade route. I tried for it the first time, and he got out of bounds. So then I was like, nah, we're gonna do the same play again. So I did it again, but this time quicker. And you see, he mocked. Earl Thomas. Down, Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas is about the same size as Jarvis Landry, but but like is more a, is like a way better 
free safety. So I was like, I was, I was shocked whenever Jarvis I thought it was gonna be because Jarvis Landry. I swear he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna have, he's gonna have way more touchdowns than four touchdowns. Yeah, we did. Who's it usually tougher for? I promise. It was a great catch. Is it tougher on the So he gets down right there. Then coverage, y'all see the coverage flip, the new aisle cover. I like that because you know my defense now goes to the strong side. And I said a blitz. Cameron Wake lets his 70th sack in the lead. You see him all hype and everything. Russell Wilson. We're going to watch it again. Russell Wilson and Cameron Wake. Cameron Wake just spins off of the defender and sacks Russell. So you see. You see my go down, down one out of so and I hit uh, Jimmy Graham <coughs> with Chris Culliver, and you see him stepping line. over, guys, they like that huge and six here we go again. I was like, you know what, I might as well get really another sack with Cameron Wake, so I just kept using Cameron Wake, and I was like, oh, I'm a, cause I almost had it. You see, you see, uh, what you call it, uh, the Issa. I quit. Ah, I can't even say anything. He tried getting a strip, but he cut it. And I try. I'm still trying to get a sack with Cameron Wake again, but you know, so far it's not really working. But I'm still trying. Rashad Jones. He has three for three tackles like he wanted. in the middle of the field. You see at the bottom, Atlanta beat Tampa Bay 31 uh, 14. And you see me, I was, you see that, y'all saw that, two, uh, and Dominican Sue and Earl, Earl Mitchell, but, uh, they both got us, they both got half a sack. You see, you see, he, you see him, he was right, he was gonna get the pick, but he was just a little off. So, he got, so Doug Bowden got his, uh, got his yards, I'm, I'm sorry if I got Wilson to pro. But you see Jimmy Graham taking them to the four-yard line. Right there, I was scared. I was like, oh, God. And then here we go again. I made sure like send like a little blitz coming away. And we, we Kiko Alonzo make sure it don't happen. And you see the flag was on them holding on the offense. Oh, oh, it was on deep. Oh, well, that's my bad. That's one of those ones that is so hard to uh, judge. Well, <laughs> Chris Culliver, two-yard line. So now I'm even, now I'm even more scared. And I, I'm pretty sure right here, they don't get, I don't think they got, the no, they, um, yeah, they didn't get the touch on there. Um, Jones got half a sack. He didn't get a push. I don't even know why he didn't get a push. In there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. You see it right here. I tried getting a sack. Boom. We hit Thomas Rawls again. And so I just ran the same play. Just, just to, you know, see if we can get the same, get the same result. But they changed it up and instead Jimmy Graham gets the touchdown. <laughs> Seahawks. So now the score is 14 17. They try to an onside kick, but they failed. On That's when it was 36. And Kenyon Drake got a five yard fight. gain on the play. And you see me, he, I'm just abusing, uh, using and abusing Kenyon Drake until I can get something out of him. And you see me get the first down. And that's the Seahawks' is hope over. But, you, you know, I'm just dumb and everything. I want to take chances. So I'm like, you know what? I'm actually trying to get another touchdown. So you see me use Kenny and Drake again. And I was like, huh, oh, all right. And I went ahead and, you know, did another play. But this time it was pass. And it, I tried. I tried to, you know, get it to Devontae Parker. But, or, not to get it to Jarvis Landry, but, you know, Bobby Wagner said no. And there we go. Oh, and Jarvis Landry gets the one yard again. One yard line again. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, he can do, he probably do the same thing he did last time. So I went ahead and tried to do it again. But Richard Sherman gets the pick, it's it's and the so he, so Richard Sherman stats one in a session, and, the and you know, He'll right here, the they throw it up, fly. and oh, almost, incomplete. almost caught it, so but that was the game, and so you see, he did, uh, Pete over. Carroll, he's, and a week he's sad, one victory he always feels good. you see, Russ, you see Ryan Tannehill celebrating, 
Ryan or Russell Wilson don't want to count on his face. Each weekend, you know, especially on opening weekend. And you see everybody's uh, congratulations, so congratulating Miami, each other in the NH4 17 to 14. Week 1 is a double. Next week is and y'all thought the Dolphins were terrible. On the I'm going to make them a, the a, a, a Super Bowl they winning team. Fall to and one with the defeat. But there without being said, stay fun, to take have fun, Rams. and stay juicy. Peace. Than that, I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your glass is empty. You thinking that the song's coming on to tech me. I need to be alone like the way you left me. You start calling, you start crying. I come over, I'm inside you. I can't find you. The girl that I once had, but the sex that we have isn't half bad.